Good morning to you, Emma. Good morning, Layla and Tim. We've come down to Melbourne this morning to explore the studios of GTV9 or Television City because tonight is the last time that all the family of the Melbourne community from Channel 9 will be here. We're saying goodbye to these beautiful studios as we head to Dockland. So we thought we'd take you on a bit of a tour this morning and show you where some of the greatest shows of all time were made, including... The Paul Hogan Show. There's Paul Hogan with John Cornell and his beautiful wife, Delvine Delaney. Don Lane and all his dancing ladies. And, of course, over here, can you believe it, a young Daryl Summers from Family Feud going from 1980 to 1982. So we're going to take you on a tour this morning. But firstly, let's take a look at your Saturday weather and see what's forecast in your neck of the woods this morning. Good morning. If you're in Cairns, well, this block of land was purchased by GTV9 in 1955, and the first show was broadcast here in 1956. Before that, it was actually a piano factory since 1908, so a lot of history on this block. But moving to Docklands in a couple of months' time, and throughout the morning, we're going to be showing you some of the iconic studios. And we thought we'd just say hello to our, our weekday friends, Layla and Tim, the Today Show here. Um, they've got all the photos on the walls. All the stars who have ever graced the screens of Channel 9 are here to be remembered. Let's hope those guys are having a sleep in today. <laughs> they've they've yeah. missed that. If I'm they're sure not, they are. they're mad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's interesting that Emma mentioned uh, Don Lane and his dancing girls. Well, as a uh, as a child of the 70s and a massive fan of the Don Lane show, they were the Tony Butter Tutio dancers. <laughs> they I were have the a Tony Butter Tutio dancers. Tim, yeah, the Tony Tim Butter... I have a story for you later. I'll save it for you about, about the Tony, Tony Butter Tutio, Tutio dancer. I look may, forward to that. You may be looking at one right now. Oh, really? Because remember I'll he used to come out there and say, fly me to the moon, and the Tony Butter as we go and berserk the Does Emma has there. what it takes to be a... Oh, 100%. <laughs> okay, I'll tell we'll you a bit later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Tim and Layla. Well, we've come to GTV9 to take a little bit of a tour, and this is Studio 2. So this is where all the news is shot. At night, I'm sitting in Peter Hitchener's chair. He does our news in Melbourne every single night. And as you can see, it's a beautiful set. You can have a look around, Pete. Look, look there we go. That's how TV land works. We've got cameras everywhere. There's, there's junk everywhere. It's a pretty um, unglamorous kind of look. But, but this is where they make the news every night. And after we take a look at the maps, I'm going to show you some of Pete's tricks of the trade after we take a look at that weather. We thought we'd take you behind the desk today and show a few tricks of the trade. This is where Peter Hitchener gets ready for the news each night. So what we have is a makeup kit, so all the things that he needs, you know, a little brush, all the powder, because you need a lot of powder when you're on TV, you guys know that. Also, this is um, the earpiece that Hitch wears. He keeps in a nice little pencil case that's very organised of him. Tissues. There's no computers, or there's a few scripts, but he reads it all off that computer there, the auto cue camera, which is facing me, and that stays there in place every single night. You've got to be very talented to do that, and Hitch is one of the best in the business. But this is where all the magic happens, and it will soon move to Docklands. But tonight, after Hey Hey It's Saturday, we've got a special hosted by Eddie Maguire and also Bert Newton taking us through some of the legendary moments of the Channel 9 studios in Melbourne. And in the next half hour, Layla and Timmy, I'm taking you into Studio 9. That's where all the real magic happened. Mm. Excellent. Thanks, Emma. It's good to have a look around, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's nice. Particularly for people that don't know. It's a, a wonderful old venue and uh, you're somewhere deep in the bowels there, Emma. Yeah, a lot of people will be sad to see it go, Tim, including yourself, but we've now come into the most famous of all of them, Studio 9, and the boys have just arrived at 8 o'clock. They're working on Hey Hey It's Saturday tonight, and they won't finish, wait for it, till 1.30 tomorrow morning, so they definitely work them hard down here at GTV, but I'm going to show you into the Studio 9 after we take a look at your maps and see what's happening in your neck of the woods today. Well, this is Studio 9, and this is where they make... Hey, hey, it's Saturday, and in times gone by in Melbourne tonight, the Graham Kennedy Show, the Don Lane Show. Who wants to be a millionaire? And you wanted to know about my experience with the Tony Bartuccio dancers, guys? Well, in 1997... I actually um, became a Tony Bartuccio dancer and I used to come in here into Studio 9 when I was about nine years old and I used to do a lot of the prize presenting on Sale of the Century. So I used to dance in here when I was a little girl. Fantastic. We never knew that. You were a star <laughs> years ago. I didn't even think you were born then. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very insignificant coming in here and speaking about all the, the great stars who were in here, but I did do a little bit of that um, until I was about oh, 20, so that was only a couple of years ago. It's so. part of the history. Have you got any moves you can <laughs> yeah. show us this morning? Oh, no, they're long gone. <laughs> Come on. Oh, maybe in the next one. We'll talk to you at night. Maybe, we'll maybe next one. Bust a few <laughs> Bartuccio moves. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> yes. 
But first, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you exclusively by the Tony Tuccio dancers. <laughs> uh, she used to bring out the Bruce and Walsh pendant on Sale of the Century, and she's going to give us a couple of dance moves. Ask the, the weather, Emma Friedman. Thank you very much for that, Tim Gilbert. I wasn't expecting that, but I'll see what I can do um, after we take a look at the maps. But this is Studio 9. This is where all the magic was made from in Melbourne tonight. And we'll have a little bit of a talk about that after we take a look at the weather to now. Hey, hey, it's Saturday, the final show for the year here in Studio 9 tonight. And Daryl Summers, he'll walk down that little couple of steps tonight at about 7.30. And that'll be fantastic. Let's take a look at the maths. I'm really scared about dancing now. Oh, well, Graham Kennedy, he was the king of Channel 9. And in Melbourne tonight, there was music, musical acts. There was plenty of game shows. There was plenty of acts going on. And this is one of his highlights. Bit of tears and sorrow. I think I'm going to cry. I'm the lover. I'm the least. Hey! Without you, beauty, I'm the beast. I'm the He's gone. I'm the deceased without you. Incredible talented Wadzi, and it was great that we can bring variety shows still to you now on Channel 9 and Studio 9 tonight, and then we'll move to Docklands next year, Tim and Layla. I remember watching him a lot uh, through the programs of the 70s, and, and then, of course, went on with and Kenny Sutcliffe was the sidekick. Yeah, yeah, I remember Kenny used to Kenny cry. Sutcliffe. Kenny's the best. <laughs> you can tell the worst joke in the world. Not that Graham ever told a bad joke, but Kenny just loves a good laugh. Yeah. He's yeah. Great. But, but we did put you on the spot. You're on your platform. Uh, after three, we're going to play some music, and it's your job, Emma. You're getting paid for this. <laughs> yep. A bit of Tony Baratuccio Retro. A three, two, one. Well, I used to tell. So I used to do these Here it is. ones. You missed about hey! <laughs> <laughs> these ones. Now that I find where you're at. A bit of Tony Baratuccio Retro. I loved gorgeous. it. That was well very good. Done. That was I was a lot better when I was younger and I was also a lot tinier and I used to wear leotards and all the like tan stockings and too much eyeliner and younger yeah, tinier. So there Goodness you go. gracious um, me. You're the youngest tiniest you're the youngest person tiny I know. <laughs> <laughs> It was like this big, and I used to have to dance with boys, and I didn't really like that because I thought I'd get boy germs. <laughs> <laughs> How times have changed, eh? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> good dancing. Thanks love for it. that. You're a good sport. See you soon. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys.